again, ladies and gentlemen, more weird reactions from Amber Heard whilst Johnny Depp documents what he thought, you know, of basically abuse on the sister and stuff like that. She's smiling, she's smirking. And I've been live tweeting this at Mr. Age Reviews the whole time, and I'm like, why is she smirking so much? It's weird. And she just, they did this, she did it a lot. It was very strange. So, you know, I'm documenting that for the, you know, the depth side of things. I've got one more clip to make as a funny video because it is funny. And then I'll be doing like a compilation of his sort of quips and stuff. And my overall thoughts, because I do think Johnny Depp does very well on the stand, but he risks with his quickness and sort of British wit to uh, disenfranchise the jury. Hopefully that doesn't happen, but he could run the risk of that. But anyway, back to Amber Heard smirking like a weirdo. Mr. Depp, uh, we heard testimony from Miss Heard's sister, Whitney, during this trial. Do you remember that? Yes. And how would you describe your relationship with Whitney when you were in a relationship with Miss Heard? I, 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 I liked Whitney very much. Um, initially, I mean, when I first met her, I liked her very much um, and grew to love Whitney. Um, very much, um, because I, I always, it, it seemed, Whitney, Amber's sister, Whitney, seemed to always get the, the, the sort of dirty end of the stick, and um, I, I felt bad for her, for that, because it wasn't new. It had been there for, for life, and that was, that was, seemed pretty obvious so i i, I took uh, i took to whitney um very very quickly very easily she was a, she was a very sweet kid she was wonderful what do you mean that whitney got the dirty end of the stick um it was a kind of a strange combination of Loving sister, trusted sister and friend, um, and then lackey, and uh, then, you know, either the punching bag or the dartboard, or the recipient of, uh, of some rather demeaning and ugly um, words, or she would have wine thrown in her face. And who was the source of those demeaning words and the wine that you just referenced? Well, that would be Amber Heard, her sister. And how do you know that? Well, I witnessed quite a lot of it. Um, the wine in the face uh, was something that happened in New York, which... Uh, I think that even made it into the papers. I believe that even made it into the papers. It was in an elevator. How did you first learn about that incident? Miss Heard told me. In detail. What else did you observe of um, Miss Heard and her sister Whitney's interactions during your relationship with Miss Heard? They were just constantly up and down, but I, you know, I could. I could sense, I could feel that Whitney was trying to please her sister, trying to be up to snuff, and um, it just seemed like she got shot down. Jackson, every Your time. Honor, it's gone beyond the scope of the question or uh, his oh. foundation for knowledge of that. Your Honor, I, I, I asked what he observed, you know, between them. I think this is responsive to that. Uh, and his testimony as to what Whitney felt is... I'll sustain the objection. Next question. Okay. Did you ever see Miss Heard physically attack Whitney? No, I've never seen any full-on blowouts, physical blowouts between them. Tons of verbal... Uh, blow Objection out. beyond the scope. Overruled. Um, I've I've certainly seen Miss Heard grab Whitney 
um, um, push her push her around. Uh, there were a number number. There were half a dozen times when uh, we, some of us, whoever whoever was in the general vicinity, would have to leave. Um, this is at Orange when Whitney and Amber were living at Orange. Uh, Whitney and her boyfriend <coughs> at the time, Sean Krzyzewski, uh and uh, he, we actually we had to leave the apartment oh, and why, wait why in that? the car while they fought. And when you say fought, do you mean physical? Physical. Or physical. And when you said Miss Heard would push Whitney around, do you mean that to physically push her or metaphorically? Both. Um, you heard Whitney testify that she lived in Penthouse 4 at the Eastern Columbia building for a time, correct? That is correct, yes. Um, how did Whitney come to live in Penthouse 4? Um, my recollection when Whitney first came to stay at the um, Eastern Columbia building in Penthouse 4 was she and her boyfriend, Sean, had um, broken up and uh, she needed a place to go. And so Amber asked if she could stay in Penthouse 4 and I said, well, of course, she, of course, you know. How long did Whitney live in Penthouse 4? Um, it was well over a year, on and off. Did you ever ask Whitney to move out of Penthouse 4? No, I did not, no. Why did Whitney ultimately move out of Penthouse 4? Objection, foundation. It, it's his apartment, Your Honor. He was living there. Oh, overruled. Um, Whitney moved out of Penthouse for um, long before the um, marriage, and it was due to a an argument that Ms. Hurd and Whitney had had, um, which had to do with. Um, Whitney working at the Art of Elysium with Jennifer Howell and those people. And stand, uh, Amber asked her to leave, get out. Where did Whitney live when she moved out of Penthouse 4? My understanding is she went to live with Jennifer Howell. Uh, Your Honor, I know you, um, until.